All right, guys, welcome to this week's episode of The Parts Bin. The Parts Bin's fun because this is where we talk about all kind of different parts you may want to use for your truck. Uh, our products, other people's products, anything that's really cool. Today, I'm very excited to show you something brand new. This is a brand new forged piston. This is actually manufactured by Hamilton Cams. He's trying to get a lot more engine parts out there. And he's taken a pretty fun approach to this. This is, this is truly unique. I'm very excited. We're gonna try this in a build that you'll see some videos on quickly, but uh, there's some cool things about this that you should know about. First off, this is a true forged piston. This is not a cast piston, so it's super strong. Take a lot more power than your cast pistons will. Have a nice Teflon coating on the sides, and they have all kind of different bolt designs. This is the bolt designs for 6.7 Cummins for a 6.7 injector pattern. He has them for the early common rails with the, the little bit wider pattern for the 04 and a half style bulls, a little bit wider. So, you know, depending on what you need, he can offer you a bowl to fit your uh, injector. So what's cool about this? Well, you can see here, there's a little lip here. This, this top is different than the bottom. The bottom is forged aluminum. This top piece is actually called a ceramic matrix. It's a pretty fancy word, sounds awesome. What does it mean? is its ability to maintain its size at heat. So in talking with different people um, about pistons and expansion, um, a typical forged piston, a typical aluminum forged piston, this is the most common piston you'll see in a real high horse application, a forged aluminum piston. Those guys will expand about 20 to 25 thousandths of an inch at 500 degrees. Now your cylinder walls will also expand, so you don't need that much clearance, but you need a lot of clearance on a forged aluminum piston. Makes them real sloppy. You kind of want to let your engine heat up before you make some power with it because you want that piston to expand to fit properly at heat. Now a cast piston is a little bit better. That'll typically grow between 11 and 15 thousandths, depending on which alloy you're using. So you don't need quite as much uh, piston wall clearance in a cast piston, but they're inherently weak. They're not near as strong as a forged piston, so you don't see those in your real high horsepower builds. You do see them in a lot of power, high power builds, though, because the forged piston's top ring land tends to not be very strong. Uh, it gives away, and a cast piston actually has a steel ring land for that top ring land cast in the piston. So you don't see hardly any forged pistons on the street in a diesel. Now, gasoline applications, forged pistons are the norm. You always get forged pistons. Never see in a street application on a diesel. So the next greatest expensive awesome thing is a steel piston. Uh, these are super awesome. Uh, the, the ring lands will last forever, and they don't shrink near as much or expand near as much. A typical steel piston will go for about five to seven thousandths is the range of a steel piston. So much much better. And and when you start reading builds on the steel pistons, their piston wall clearance is way less than an aluminum piston. So a lot less blow by. Really pretty neat. Well, this piston here, the the ceramic, will expand. Well, three to four thousand, so even less than steel. So that's really, really cool. And so with this piston, we're gonna put it in a build, like I said, you'll see about it in the future, is will this ring land hold up? We believe it will, it's a different material, it's not aluminum. You can actually hold a torch to this thing and melt the aluminum away and the top will just be fine. So it's really pretty cool. Another feature about these pistons is it takes a diesel ring pack. So a typical keystone ring, uh, from like a Molly or Cummins piston will fit these guys. So you don't, it's not a, most aftermarket uh, forged pistons have an automotive style ring, which is a, a flat ring, it's not a keystone ring. And the ring technology in a diesel is quite a bit, I don't wanna say better, there's a lot more money spent in diesel rings than a gasoline ring. The oil control ring, way nicer. What you can just see, it's a much better product. And if you start like watching videos on different, like, like Molly who makes, forged pistons for gas and diesel. They, their ring technology is a lot better in a diesel than in a gasoline application. So all the forged pistons use gasoline style rings. This one uses a diesel style ring. So I'm really excited to see how that works out on the street in a pretty decent power application. So anyway, these are Hamilton's new forged pistons that are with a diesel style ring with a ceramic top that will not expand. So we're gonna build an engine. It's got a very, very tight piston wall clearance so tight, I'm extremely nervous. I've never built one this tight. And if I, I'd just be so scared, it's gonna expand and just scuff up the cylinder walls like crazy. But we're gonna try it out. We'll let you know, does it work or does it not work? So anyway, that's the uh, part spin for today. Hopefully it was enjoyable for you. Hope you learned something new. I'm excited to see how these work out and I hope you are too. We'll see you next time.